Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scatino, aka Scat, and it's finally here. The Nintendo Switch. It is official launch day of Nintendo's brand new home console slash portable console hybrid. Uh, we've got one, it's live, we're here, we're doing it, and we're gonna unbox it. Now, just a, just a few things about this Nintendo Switch now. I pre-ordered this yesterday, had it pre-ordered a while ago, um, cancelled my pre-order when they announced that there would be no virtual console at launch, but then I saw the reviews of the Breath of the Wild and I'm like, I'm just going to get it. Um, I did try to get the £198 um, discounted price on GameSeek, didn't manage to get that unfortunately, but I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to get it because I need, I need to play that Zelda. Didn't want to play it on Wii U, I wanted to play it on Switch. So pre-ordered yesterday from Shop 2, come today, along with the obviously the limited edition of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I have already unboxed on the channel. Um, so if you haven't watched that, then please go back and check that out as well. Uh, but this video is all about the Nintendo Switch. So we're going to have a look at the box, we're going to unbox it, we're going to have a look at it. Um, and just see how we get on because I really need to get into that Zelda. So the first thing you're going to notice actually when it gets delivered to your home today or tomorrow whenever you get it is how tiny this box is. Now I was surprised, I mean if anybody remembers my um, PlayStation 4, my vanilla PlayStation 4 unboxing, you remember it coming out big ass box. This is tiny, like this is like DVD player like type box, Blu-ray player type box, you know, this is small. Um, you wouldn't even, you know, it's hard, it's hard to believe there's an actual console in this box, it really is. Uh, but as you can see, just like the design on the front, obviously you have got the, the dock um, on this side, you have got the Joy-Con grip and with the controllers there. And if you turn it onto that side, obviously that is the, the portable. Uh, version of the system it says Nintendo on the bottom well or on the top I should say some nice little pictures around the side so let's get into it I mean like I say guys I'm, I'm, I am a skeptic about the Nintendo Switch I really am I mean I know I've not made any videos about the Nintendo Switch but I have got a lot of concerns about it it has got a lot, a lot of potential I'm not saying the system itself is going to be poor. I'm thinking more about the um, the support on the game software side of things. I mean, you just got to look at the launch lineup to see it is a very very poor launch lineup. Zelda aside, Zelda games are usually good anyway. I'm talking about everything else. Um, it's just not on par with what we are used to in recent memory of launches. PlayStation Four had a really strong. Um, launch, you know, a lot of software at launch. Um, Xbox One was the same. The PlayStation Vita, you know, had a great launch as well in terms of games. Um, I don't know why it's upside down. Um, but yeah, the Switch is really lagging behind. I've only got The Legend of Zelda to play with it because there's literally no other games that have been released that I actually want to play on the Nintendo Switch. Um, the next one, I think, is at the end of April, which is going to be Mario Kart. Um, one after that, I think, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, if that actually does get released this year. And then at the end of the year, it's Super Mario. So in near enough a 12-month period, you're looking at about four games that I'll have. Um, hopefully, they're all going to be top quality games, yeah, but it's not a lot. Um, so anyway, just that's that's just my thinking. So let's get into this, finally. So we've got this little flap down here. Oh, sorry. Actually opens up that way. So it actually opens up like so. Wow! Oh damn! Now this is the first time I've ever actually seen the Switch in the flesh. Like I've not been to any events anything like that so this is the first time I'm actually seeing it and yo that is tiny that is so small I did not think the screen was gonna be that small it looks nice nice weight to it but yo that's tiny yo that is so tiny let me take this out take this out 
The screen, the screen actually looks really nice, but that is tiny, 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 tiny. I like it though. I like it. So it looks like on here. So it looks like you've, um, obviously it's black, so it looks contrast in it. So obviously it says Nintendo Switch on the back there. You've got the air vents here. All the processing power, I believe, of the Switch takes place actually on the tablet as opposed to the dock that we're going to get out shortly. Um, it's got the game card slot here, headphone jack, power button, volume buttons, and a USB port on the back. Also, it does have this kickstand, which I believe is very flimsy, but it's got a really nice matte feel to it as well, which I do like, as opposed to like the um, Toys R Us looking Wii U. You know, so how do you actually get this out? Just have to. Oh, I want to stand it up. I can't get this out. I can't get that out at the moment without breaking it. So we'll see. So that was that. So that's the actual tablet. Here's your Joy Cons, which I've heard a lot about. I don't know how innovative they're actually going to be. They had, well, actually, they feel quite nice, actually. I, I thought they were going to be a lot tinier and a lot more, like, because I've got, I've not got big hands, but I didn't think they were going to feel as comfortable as they are. So, obviously, you hold one in each hand like this. Um, you connect it down onto the actual Switch uh, tablet. Or you can actually, like, play Mario Kart two-player like this, which I'm not sure how that's going to work, because that just doesn't feel right. That feels awful. Um, but hey ho, now I, I do want to just get this kickstand out just because I don't know. I ain't got no nails, you see. Do I really want to stick a knife in there? Do I really want to do that? Should I try it? Should I try it? I'm gonna break the actual system now just by sticking this knife down here. To get the kickstand out, I don't. I just. I don't know why I get the kickstand out just so I can actually. I don't know. Mine seems to be stuck. I don't want to put too much pressure on it. Anyway, fuck it. I'll just hold it. So let's just see how this actually um, connects. So apparently, you just slide these down. The hinges. Oh, that clicks in place like so. So we take out the, the next one. So you've got the, the Joy-Con left and the Joy-Con right. So this is actually the Joy-Con right. Slide that down also. And it is a nice little click. And there you have it. You know that that is <laughs> that is actually really nice. That actually feels quite good to hold. Um, you've got a home button. You've got the home button here. Um, you've got an actual capture button here, so it takes screenshots. I don't believe it records gameplay, but it takes screenshots which you can send to your social media. Um, nice clicking buttons. Um, the analog, obviously, the analog sticks aren't as big as those you'll find on the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One, but they seem a lot better, a lot more comfortable, even than the Vita ones. And now it's all attached, it does look actually quite better. It would have been nice for the, the actual screen to fill that whole screen, but unfortunately it doesn't. Um, I would have liked to have had a bigger screen, but I can see what they're doing. They're trying to make it look more like a tablet, but instead of all like, the bordering shit here, I would have liked a full-on screen, you know what I mean? But never mind, it's just, just a small complaint. Shoulder buttons feel quite nice, and why can I not get this kickstand out? I, I can't for the life of me even get that out, so let's just put that to the side just for a few moments and let's actually see what, hell, what else we actually get in this box. So I'll get rid of that. Uh, we have the um, we have the little Joy-Con extenders or whatever they are. Oops. Um, so you can actually connect them on. Um, as well I guess to make it feel a tiny bit more comfortable and obviously this is like the safety strap for when you're playing like motion control games and stuff 
Um, I believe you get two of them. Yeah, you do. You do get two of them. Uh, I'm not going to take them both out of the packs. In fact, I'm going to put that one back in because I'm not really interested in that right now. I haven't got any motion control games. Although I do believe Zelda is a bit motion controlled. Um, well, certain aspects of it, like gameplay bits. Right, so this is the Joy-Con grip. Now, they, they, <laughs> I've been laughing about this. Uh, people will know I've been laughing about this, certain people, uh, because I thought it looked absolutely awful. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and connect this up and just to see how it looks. So let me see, I believe you press that in to slide them out. Yeah, so that's how you do that. And I believe it's the same thing, you slide them down, click, click, and, oh. Well to, hmm. well, to be honest, it's not, well, to be honest, it's not that bad. It's actually not that bad. I mean, it does, it, it, it looks horrible. It looks, it looks horrible. It really does. It, like, it's not the best looking controller in the world. It's really not. I mean, it looks as ugly as the PlayStation 3 Boomerang. Remember that? I'm not sure if that was actually going to be a real thing or a concept or a mock-up of what someone believed but you remember that boomerang shaped PlayStation 3 controller it looks horrible just like that um, it's doable though um, now that is one thing I didn't actually buy with, with the system I didn't buy the pro controller um, and you'll notice that there isn't an actual a proper um, d-pad it's just it's just buttons four separate buttons um, up and down buttons um, di well directional buttons um, so I've not yet bought the Pro Controller. It's something that I'm thinking about, but it's like £70 for that Pro Controller. And when you think a PlayStation 4 controller, a brand new one at that is £44, £45, approximately between £40 and £45. An extra 30 quid for a controller, mate? It's like, come on, mate. <coughs> I really don't know what Nintendo have been smoking to be coming up with that. So, for the time being, I've not got the Pro Controller. If it turns out I cannot use this on the big TV, if it just feels awful, then I probably will invest in the Pro Controller. But for the time being, this is going to have to suffice. So, it nicely stands up that way. I'm annoyed. I can't believe this King Kickstand. It's doing me edit. I just can't. Does it release somehow? I'm not sure if you spoke. See, there's like two, two little... So I'm, I just don't know. Oh, there we go. All right, okay. Finally, I think you just needed a little nudge, all right, just to get it out for the first time. Oh, shit, that, that that feels flimsy as hell. That actually feels flimsy as hell. Um. And I have heard that actually that that it that little kickstand does feel very very flimsy and it's not even like it's right in the middle of of the of the tablet either it's like at the side so it doesn't it's not very sturdy doesn't feel very balanced but at the moment it's doing its job um so <laughs> right in fact i'm gonna put that over there just on that side there we go um joy con grip there right let's get out the the actual dock now so i believe the dock is just like a shell just a shell that it sits in um that's the dock right there i, I know it's quite hard to see because it's all black and everything on, on it's black so it's quite hard to make out the logos and everything uh, so it is just a shell there's no processing power that happens within this thing i think this is basically just what you do to plug it to your TV and that's it. All the processing power actually happens on that tablet. But as you can see, obviously that's the back. The um, This just pulls down here. It reveals the AC adapter connector, HDMI, USB. Um, and that is pretty much it. It's got a couple of USB ports here on the side as well. And I believe, so you get your switch like so. And you just drop it in like that 
and then that actually transports well transfers the image from the switch onto your actual TV um, which is very very good so just let's see what else we've got in this box I'll take that back out just because yeah, on the kickstand. I've fucked up the kickstand again now. Oh, there we go. It's, it's a lot easier to get that kickstand out. So, just gonna put that there. Uh, what have we got here? So we've got HDMI cable. Not gonna get all that out right now. Um, AC adapter. Is that just the AC adapter? Yep, yeah, so that's AC adapter which has the which has the USB connector on the bottom. No separate USB cable though, which I find interesting. Not even a, an additional a, an additional one or anything like that, which I find quite interesting. Hmm. So I'm going to give you a close up on all this, guys. Um, so bear with me. I'm going to switch the actual unit on. And just see what we're actually dealing with put zelda in it boot it all up and then we're going to take it from there so um yeah join me back for that So I hope you all enjoyed that unboxing guys, um, I'm really looking forward to actually getting into Zelda. Uh, so I've turned on the actual system now, um, I've updated it, I've logged in um, with my nickname, I still need to register a Nintendo ID, I'm not entirely sure how to do that yet. Um, hopefully the name that I want to use, which I always use, hasn't been taken yet, but we'll soon see. Um, so yeah, like I say really looking forward to getting into zelda i'm hoping it's going to be a successful system um i think it's got the potential to be but it just needs a games it just really really needs a games but that's it from me guys um i'm not going to show any more now i'm not going to show hooking up to the tv and everything just because I'm, i think you know the special part of this system is the fact that it is in a portable um it is a portable hybrid um the screen looks really nice as well, it's like crystal clear, it looks really nice, sound seems quite good as well. Um, obviously I've not got into about battery life and all that kind of stuff yet because obviously I've not properly used it. But I'm going to get into all that um, today, I'm going to be playing it, I'll be playing it for probably the rest of the day now. But that's it from me, so as always please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Please let me know if you're picking up a Nintendo Switch today. Um, if not, please let me know why. Do you think it's going to be successful? Do you think it's not? Please let me know, you know, all your thoughts on Nintendo Switch, what games you're looking forward to, what you hope actually comes to the system. Um, yeah, and, and let's talk about it. So I'm going to leave you with that, guys. That's it from me. Um, I'm your boy, Scatino, and I'm out. Peace.